Hello everyone, my name is Ulysses Beya and I play saxophone for this band called Ozo Motley and I also play clarinet, I play a bunch of other instruments and a good friend of mine asked me if I wanted to share a book with you guys and I decided to pick this book because it was written by a good friend of the band's her name is Cindy Jen Jensen Elliott and she gave us these books, and I thought it was really cool. The name of the book is called Weeds Find a Way. And I thought it was really cool when I read it because it made me appreciate something that we see all the time, which is weeds on the in the garden, on the sidewalk, on the streets, you name it. So let's read the book. Weeds Find a Way. Weeds find a way to live where other plants can't grow. Each weed carries thousands of seeds, each waiting to make a new weed. Weeds send their seeds into the world in wondrous ways, fluffing up like feathers and floating away in the wind. I know I have fun doing that. Swirled into prickly burrs that stick to socks and fur. Poking into pants and paws like tiny little needles. Or shot out of tight dry pods like confetti from a pop balloon. Weed seeds find a way to wait, sitting still in icy earth all winter. Wow, I never knew that one. Look at that. Or baking in shimmering summer heat on a white hot sidewalk without a whisper of wind. Till clouds billow or soft rain spills, carrying them floating down streams to sprout. In the smallest, strangest places, they can possibly live. Weeds find a way to grow by the side of a windy road in a crack in the cellar of a creaky old house? In the tangle of tree roots at the tops of a spine of stone? Or wedged in the worn sole of a tattered sneaker? Weeds find a way to stay reaching deep into the grip so strong. The stem always breaks first, leaving l the living roots behind to sprout again. Or pinching into pieces the minute you try to tug them out, spreading it into a spray of plant parts that find a new spots to take root. Weeds find a way to fight hooking tender skin with horny thorns, stinging unsuspected tongues with invisible prickles, and surprising hungry insects with sap so tart it could turn a tongue inside out. Weeds find a way to be loved, sending up flares of righteous red, flags of green, umbrellas of the finest white lace. Making a place sing with bees and birds, exhaling breath as sweet as sleep. Weeds find a way to stay 
unexpected guests who just happened to bring the whole family along. And here in the back, they have all kinds of weeds you can see in your garden or in your streets or in your cities. Dandelions, those are very common, the ones you blow. Milkweeds, crab grasses, all kinds of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I learned a lot of lessons about weeds in this book and how resilient and adaptable they are. Okay, you guys have a great one.